Time for your real estate real talk. And this week we are focusing on mortgage rates. We've started to come down and see them come down. And recently there's been an increase in activity from home buyers. So Los Angeles real estate agent Carrie White is here with us to talk about this sudden switch. Carrie, let's jump right in. Rates went from okay. more than 7% to just under 7%. I know that doesn't seem like it's great, but what is this drop signaling to potential buyers? Well, you know, the rates driving all the way up over 7% was the highest that they've ever been since 1980. So it's this huge sticker shock for home buyers. And then in the past two weeks, they drop from 7.4 to 6.2, which is the biggest drop in one week that's ever happened in history. So people are riding this kind of like a roller coaster, right? We're up, we're down. Um, but as this drop happened, buyers started rushing back into the market, feeling like this was a huge sign of relief. Mm -hmm with homes staying on the market a little bit longer, they're just saying like, yes, this is our opportunity. Let's jump in. Let's make it happen. Um, and they're getting excited again. So what are we seeing as far as mortgage applications right now? Well, you know, we're seeing more confidence in the market with the signs of improvement for affordability. Maybe things are getting better, but it definitely feels more positive out there. And home buyers, although they have been getting more savvy with the internet over the last couple of years, they're now even more keen keyed into these key factors that maybe they don't normally pay attention to. So consumers are playing the rates like a stock market, like they're in Vegas or something. When they're hearing rumors that the Fed is raising rates, they're jumping in prior, or when they're seeing a jump, they're jumping back in um, and they're not waiting. So with these huge drop in applications we've seen, we've now seen an increase in mortgage applications, which is the applications to obtain a loan, um, increasing 2.2% after some slower couple months. So definitely some changes in the market. And keep in mind, one point is equatable to $100,000 on a purchase price. So one point makes a big difference to home buyers. Yeah, I was just going to say to keep that in mind, these are some large numbers that we're talking about. And how did, there's other factors that kind of play into this. How did the midterm elections affect the housing market? Oh, every time. Midterm, election, you know, current events have an impact on home buyers because they create uncertainty. And when people aren't sure what the future holds, they don't want to be making big life decisions. So elections normally are a big spook for the majority of buyers, not everybody. They want to know what's coming next, who's in office before they make these decisions. You know, people want some kind of amount of certainty. There isn't really certainty, and these current events don't normally, they don't, haven't ever impacted the housing market, but people tend to hold on to them a little bit like a security blanket, which is fair. So with these midterms, we had a little bit more of a slowdown, and then right afterwards, we had more people at open houses, more offers coming in, and the buyer pool increased again. So interesting. So for anyone out there, Carrie, right no. now, thinking about buying a house, should they expect to stick with these higher rates for at least a while? I would say yes. There's a lot of different predictions out there. I see that rates will be in the fives again in the beginning of quarter one, 2023. I see that they're going to go up to 8%. Uh, but keep in mind that these rates increase to help fight inflation and to slow the market down. Wow. That was the reason for nothing else. So if they feel that inflation is under control, the housing market is in a better place, like more affordability, they probably will bring them down to a little bit of a more normal level. However, home buyers right now entering the market, the largest sentiment is that we are going to be paying these rates at least for the foreseeable future. They're not planning to marry the house, date the rate, as everybody says. They're like, okay, we're going to make this work if this mm. is our rate right now. Um, and, you know, this wasn't a normal rate prior to the last five, six years. People were used to having rates from 7 to 15%. So it's more of um, getting through the shock in the millennial generation. Um, but a lot of the older buyers, older buyers, people over 40 are used to these, these rates. So it's just a matter of people catching up with the current times. But I always say get into a house with a payment, a mortgage rate, a purchase price in an area that you like and don't expect or gamble on things changing. Oh, the ups and downs. If we had a crystal ball, we would use it. But that's why we have you, Carrie, to update us as these things start to change. Your crystal the ball. <laughs> All right. You can watch her here every Wednesday on Current. Thanks, Carrie, once again. Follow her on Instagram in the meantime at Carrie Ann Carrie Ann and subscribe to her YouTube page, Carrie Ann Real Estate. Thanks.